In this video, we're going to solve the following differential equation. So this differential equation is called a Cauchy-Euler differential equation. And the reason is the power of x matches the order of the derivative. The power of x matches the order of the derivative. And you can think of this as being x to the 0 times y. So the power of x matches the order of the derivative. You can think of y as being the 0th derivative. OK. So when you're doing Cauchy-Euler equations, you always want to start, or one way to start, is to let y be equal to x to the m. Then you differentiate this and plug it into your de. So this is pretty easy to do using the power rule. So you take the m, put it in the front, then you subtract 1, so you get m minus 1. Then you do it one more time, so y double prime. You take the m minus 1 and put it in the front. Then you subtract again from the exponent. So subtracting 1 one more time will give you m minus 2. So you call it y, let y be equal to x to the m, take the derivatives, then just plug everything in. So this will be 49 x squared. Then y double prime is this piece over here. So m minus 1, m x to the m minus 2, plus 49 x. And then we have y prime. So that'll be m x to the m minus 1, plus then we have y. So that'll be x to the m. So when you get to this step, you always want to combine the x's. So you'll notice here we have x squared. And then here we have x to the m minus 2. So we multiply these, we're going to get x to the m. The same thing is going to happen here. x to the 1 times this is going to give us x to the m. Why? Because we add the exponents, right? So 2 plus m minus 2 is m. Likewise, 1 plus m minus 1 is m. OK, so we have 49 m minus 1, m. And then combining these gives us x to the m plus 49 m. Then combining the x's gives us x to the m plus x to the m. All of this is equal to 0. So now what you do is you pull out an x to the m. So x to the m, this will be 49 m, m minus 1. I wrote it a little bit differently. I don't know why I did that, but I just put the m in the front. Plus 49 m plus 1. And that's equal to 0. So at this point, you can simply divide by x to the m. So we divide both sides by x to the m, x to the m. So these cancel. So let's go ahead and distribute this. So 49m times m is 49m squared. Then here, 49m times negative 1 is negative 49m. Then we have plus 49m and then plus 1, and all of this is equal to 0. These cancel, boom. So we end up with 49m squared plus 1, and that's equal to 0. I guess we could solve this for m. We could subtract 1. So we would get 49m squared equals negative 1. And then to finish solving this, we would divide by 49. So m squared is equal to negative 1 over 49. Now we would just take the square root. And when you do that, you do get a plus or minus. And we also get an i because of the negative inside the square root. So plus or minus i. And then the square root of 1 is 1. The square root of 49 is 7. So we have something like 0 plus or minus 1 over 7i. That fits the form alpha plus or minus beta i. So we see that alpha is equal to 0 and beta is equal to 1 7. So we have complex conjugate roots. And whenever that happens, if you recall, the formula is y equals x to the alpha bracket c1 cosine beta ln x plus c2 sine beta ln x. So alpha is 0, so we get x to the 0, so that's 1. So this will be y equals c1 cosine 
and then beta is 1 7th. So it's 1 7th ln x plus C2 sine, and then beta is 1 7th, so 1 7th ln x. And that would be the final answer. That's it.